let's start a new round. Every factory has already produced one good, and we've cleared all the demand tiles off of the market board. Let's draw out three new ones and place them and see what they are. We've drawn two golds and a food, so now we need to put out two more golds on each gold producing factory and one food on each food producing factory. Next, we need to move the markers up on the market track to show that their value has increased. Now you can see where the uncertainty variant might be kicking in a little bit. Gold has just become the most valuable commodity in the game, where before it was on the five. Now, all the players are going to plan their airship movements and actions. Now that everybody's finished planning out all four of their actions, everyone will simultaneously reveal the first card in socket number one on their player board. Then they will be resolved in alphabetical order. Isaac just played a zero, which has a letter A on it. That means he's going to be going first. The zero also means that he's not going to be moving anywhere, so he's just going to pick up the single cube that is on the space with him and put it into his airship. Now, for Isaac's action, he's going to build a depot on this link. He has a master plan that he's working out as well. That'll cost him $7, because this link is already occupied by one of Eva's depots. Next, Isaac will pay one of his perpetual motion tokens to take another action. And he's going to use this extra action to pay $3 and increase his train level by one. The next player to go will be Blue, also known as Thaddeus Birch aboard the Godfather. He's going to move one hex and pick up this cube and put it into his hold. For Thaddeus's action, he's going to spend $4 and build a depot right here. Now the cards with the letter C will move. And since Eva and Sebastian both have a movement value of 2 with the letter of C, Eva will go first because she has the lower turn priority. She will simply fly her airship two spaces to this factory and pick up two of these brown cubes, because she can only hold that many now. Eva's action will be to use her special power to build a brand new link from Bagshirport to Aldenville. This bypasses Geekopolis completely. Now she gets to place a depot on any position she wants on this link for free. This move only costs her four dollars, one for each tile. And now she still has one tile left. Now it's Sebastian's turn. He's simply going to move two spaces and drop off this load of silver that he's picked up. Unfortunately for him, he can't deliver any of these silver cubes because his train value is only at one, so he wouldn't be able to reach either city that is requiring the silver good. And since he has no money, really the only thing that he can do now is take some funds from the bank. So he'll get three dollars by soliciting some funds. Now that everyone's moved to take in their actions, everyone reveals the card that is in their second socket. This time it looks like Thaddeus has played the letter A on his movement card. This will let him go first, and this is important because he's using his special movement card. This special movement card will let him move either zero, one, or two spaces, and then steal a good from a depot or airship on a space that he's occupying. So he will move two spaces, and then steal a cube from Isaac. This sort of maneuver is one of the few really cutthroat things that you can do in this game. Now Thaddeus is going to use his action to pay three dollars and upgrade his train one level. Trains and airships can only be upgraded one level at a time. It takes another action to upgrade it another level. Now that all the players have the letter D showing, Player priority will be determined by the number on the character cards. This means Isaac is going to limp off to his depot, drop off his cubes, and then for his action, he's going to ship them right into that city, which will gain him $12. Now on to Eva Blaine, who is going to use her two movement to fly to this depot, drop off her two cubes, and then ship them into the city. She is also using her special movement card. That allows her to move two spaces and then ship one good. So she still has one more action to take. Cheater, cheater, Eva Blaine, you used your special movement card to ship two goods instead of the one that is allowed. There will be no penalty at this time, but don't think we didn't notice. But first she'll get $12 for shipping those two cubes into that city. For her last action, she'll use one dollar to place her last track tile and connect to these two cities. And of course, she gets to place a depot on there for free, which is a pretty good deal, because usually it would cost four dollars to place that depot. Now Sebastian is going to move three spaces and pick up three of these cubes. He really needs to upgrade his train, so he'll pay two dollars to do that. Starting off on the third socket will be Eva Blaine. 
she's going to move three spaces and pick up two of these cubes. She really needs to upgrade her airship hold a little bit more, but the Sphinx is notoriously bad at carrying things. Even so, upgrading her train is more important at this point, so she'll pay three dollars to do that. Now it's back to Sebastian, who's going to move three spots back to his depot and drop off yet more goods. He really needs to start shipping some of this stuff. Things are beginning to get really critical for him. He needs to ship some of these gold cubes or he's going to be paying a lot of upkeep at the end of the round. The problem is his train level is only a 2, and either the gold or the silver both require a train value of 3 to ship in either place. Even more painful is the fact that he only has $1 left, so he can't upgrade anymore. So instead, he'll have to just solicit some more funds and then hope that he can upgrade next turn. Thaddeus is in a much better position. He's going to move three spaces and drop off both of the cubes in his hole. However, now he has a little bit of a dilemma. He would love to ship all three of these white cubes because they're the highest value, but the city only has space for one more. Still, the return is greater to ship there than it is to ship into this city, so he'll do that. Cities can only hold five goods, so this last good will fill this city up. When that happens, you simply take a demand tile that was swept off of the market board earlier at random. Then, after you've cleared all the goods off of that city space and returned them to the stock, you replace it with the tile that was chosen at random. This just happened to be more textiles. Good news for Thaddeus. Finally, we're on to Isaac's turn, and he's played a movement card of five, which explains why his letter is E and makes him the last one to move. He's going to move five spaces onto the same space with Eva. Sadly for him, his plan's been thwarted, and there's only one cube left. Now he'll use his action to build a depot here along the edge of the board. This will cost him four dollars. Interestingly enough, Isaac's now going to be the first one to go because he played a movement of two with the letter C on it. So he'll move two spaces and drop off this cube that he just picked up. And his action will be to ship it. He's going to ship it into this city. And, since he has to pass through one of Eva's depots along the way, he will have to pay her one dollar from the eight dollars that he gets from that shipment. Eva will move three spaces next onto this depot and unload these two cubes, and she will immediately ship them into this city as well. This will give her a total of sixteen dollars, and she doesn't have to pay anyone because she didn't go through his depot. Thaddeus is going to kick on his afterburners and swoop in to pick up these cubes. And he has enough room so he can pick up all three. Once again, it seems like luck is on Thaddeus' side. This city is now demanding more textiles, so he can ship these two cubes directly in. This is definitely the preferred method for him, because if he shipped this silver in, he would only get $5 as opposed to the 12 for delivering into here. And so he collects $12. Finally, we come to Sebastian and his tale of woe. He wanted to move five spaces to come here and pick up these cubes, but he's already got more than he can possibly ship. In addition to that, his train still can't reach either city, so he has a difficult decision to make. Does he either upgrade his train using the little money that he has left, or hold on to more money so that he can pay for the upkeep to keep more of his cubes? These are some of the difficult decisions that you have to make during the course of a game of Kings of Air and Steam.